Kim Kardashian visited the Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility near San Diego on Saturday to speak about prison reform with a large group of inmates, including brothers Lyle and Eric Menendez. Kardashian was joined by sister Khloe Kardashian, mother Kris Jenner, film producer Scott Budnick and actor Cooper Cook, who plays Eric in Ryan Murphy's Netflix biopic series, Monsters, The Lyle and Eric Menendez Story. Welcome to Global Icons. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any updates about your favorite celebrities. The Menendez brothers, who fatally shot their parents Kitty and Jose Menendez in 1989, were convicted of first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder. They were sentenced to life imprisonment without parole. On Friday, Eric slammed monsters, saying that the Netflix anthology series' second installment perpetuated ruinous character portrayals of him and his brother Lyle. It is with a heavy heart that I say, I believe Ryan Murphy cannot be this naive and inaccurate about the facts of our lives so as to do this without bad intent, Menendez wrote in his statement, which was posted on his wife Tammy Menendez's ex, formerly Twitter, account. Kardashian recently worked with Murphy on another rendition of American Horror Story. The actor and reality star also regularly visits prisons to learn and speak about rehabilitation programs and prison reform, which she has shared on Kardashian TV shows and discussed at Variety's Justice Reform Summit. Earlier this year, Kardashian sat down with Monster star Chloe Sevigny, who portrays Kitty Menendez in The Monsters, The Lyle and Eric Menendez Story, for Variety's Actors on Actors. Together, they spoke about the Menendez family ahead of the season's release. Sevigny revealed the challenges she faced embodying the Menendez matriarch, saying, We're playing interpretations of her, so I'm not necessarily playing her truth, which I found very difficult. I grew up right down the street from the house that all happened in, and everyone went to the same schools, Kardashian replied. I remember hearing about that case. But my dad drove me by the house and told me the story. And he had been in the house. Since the boys are still alive, if they tried to connect with you, would you be open to it? I think it's a slippery slope, and I think the legal aspects are really dangerous as well, Sevigny said. I've done a lot of true crime, and, honestly, I find it a little mentally exhausting just thinking about those responsibilities to the victims, to even the killers and their family members. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.